Eighth grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit eight, lesson six, finding side lengths of triangles. Problem number one. Here is a diagram of an acute triangle and three squares. Priya says the area of the large unmarked square is 26 square units because nine plus 17 equals 26. Do you agree? Explain your reasoning. No, I disagree with Priya. Her method only works with right triangles. And this is an acute triangle. Do something nice. Like this video, say something in the comments, tell a friend about this channel, and hit that thanks button. Problem number two. M, P, and Z represent the lengths of the three sides of this right triangle. Select all the equations that represent the relationship between M, P, and Z. Just like the Pythagorean theorems a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we're looking for p squared plus z squared equals m squared. Equation a won't work because that's not equivalent to p squared plus z squared equals m squared. Equation b works because m squared equals p squared plus z squared is equivalent to p squared plus z squared equals m squared. Equation C also works because it's also equivalent. Equation D does not work because P squared plus M squared equals Z squared is not the same as P squared plus Z squared equals M squared. Equation E works because Z squared plus P squared equals M squared is equivalent to P squared plus Z squared equals M squared. And equation F works because it's the same equation that we originally wrote. Problem number three. The lengths of three sides are given for several right triangles. For each, write an equation that expresses the relationship between the lengths of the three sides. A. 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. That works because 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, 10 squared is 100. And 36 plus 64 equals 100. B. The square root of 5 squared plus the square root of 3 squared equals the square root of 8 squared. That's true because 5 plus 3 equals 8. C. 5 squared plus the square root of 5 squared equals the square root of 30 squared. This relationship works because 25 plus 5 equals 30. D. 1 squared plus 6 squared equals the square root of 37 squared. This works because 1 plus 36 equals 37. E, the square root of 2 squared plus the square root of 7 squared equals 3 squared. This order works because 2 plus 7 equals 9. Problem number 4 from 6th grade, Unit 4, Lesson 1. Order the following expressions from least to greatest. 25 divided by 10 is 2.5. 250,000 divided by 1,000 is 250. 2.5 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.0025. 0 0.025 divided by 1 is 0 0.025. Now it's going to be much easier to order them from least to greatest. I've rearranged them in order from least to greatest, with the smaller expression on the left and the greatest expression on the right. Problem number five, from eighth grade unit eight, lesson three. Which is the best explanation for why negative square root of 10 is irrational? By far, the best explanation is A. Negative square root of 10 is irrational because it is not rational. Problem number 6. From 8th grade, Unit 7, Lesson 15. A teacher tells her students she is just over 1.5 billion seconds old. A. Write her age in seconds using scientific notation. 1.5 billion or 1.5 billion can be expressed as 1.5 times 10 to the 9th power. B. What is a more reasonable unit of measurement for this situation? Usually when a person tells somebody about their age, they use years. 
So the most reasonable unit of measurement for this situation is years. C. How old is she when you use a more reasonable unit of measurement like years? I used a calculator, 365 days in a year, times 24 hours in a day, times 60 minutes in an hour, times 60 seconds in a minute, and I get 31,536,000 seconds in a year. So 1.5 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by 31,536,000 seconds is about 47.6 years. So she's almost 48 years old. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video and hitting that thanks button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.